Today, Cambodia has reported 128 positive cases. Out of those 128 cases, 124 cases have been treated and the people have been sent home. There have been no cases of death in Cambodia from COVID-19. However, since the spread of the pandemic in Cambodia, over 40 people have been arrested for spreading fake news about COVID-19. What are these so-called fake news? These are young people, regular citizens, who are co concerned about the spread of COVID-19 and how it would affect their lives. Mr. Hun Sen, in less than two weeks, pushed through a state emergency law. Despite the fact that Cambodia has the lowest cases of infection and, and no death reported, the state of emergency law provides the government the full right to monitor, to observe, to control all exchange of telecommunications, to suppress freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. And Cambodia is not the only country in ASEAN that has a state of emergency law. Look at Thailand, look at the Philippines. The same situation applies. Freedom of expression is most necessary at this time for people to be able to express themselves, express their fears, express their opinions for the government to take the right measures to address the economic crisis. And the people of ASEAN, more than ever, should be united, should be vigilant, be even more active and exchange ideas, information, in order to boost our advocacy, advocacy for people who are most at risk, especially women who are workers in the factories, migrant workers in the ASEAN region are extremely vulnerable during this time. Borders are closed, such as the borders of Thailand and Vietnam, keeping hundreds and thousands and millions of migrant workers stuck without any help. And even such in the case of Malaysia, being put in detention centers, it is not acceptable. The governments of ASEAN must understand that they need the people to work with them together to address this pandemic.